In this video, we're going to show you how you can cut with your machine if it's on the same network as your computer. Before we can start using the software, we want to make sure that your cutting machine is on the same network as your computer. We can set this up by touching the gear icon on your cutting machine. You'll want to touch the Wi-Fi button next. You will need to know the network name and password so that your machine can join. First, we must scan the network and select the network to join. Next is the password. Touch the Set button. Here you'll be prompted to type in the password. In our example, our password is password1234. Each key has a multiple letter on it. Tap the number of times it takes for you to reach that letter that you would want. Once you have the password typed in, you can push the OK button. When it comes to the IP address, depending upon if you're setting up multiple machines, you'll want to ensure that each cutter has their own ending number. For example, 200, 201, and so on. Once everything looks good, we can go ahead and hit the Apply and wait for it to join our network. On the home screen, you'll notice a yellow banner with an IP address that is assigned to your cutter. We're going to use that number in the software in order to communicate with it. In SignMaster, click the launch icon on the toolbar and then select Vinyl Spooler from the drop down menu. You're going to select the connection tab on the next window. You must select your current cutter from the drop down menu. If you do not see your cutter, you will have to add it by using the Add button. Under the Port Type, select Windows Port. Under the Port Settings, select TCP, then click on the Configure button. A new window will open. This is where you're going to enter the IP address that appeared on your cutter. Make sure the port is set to 8080 and click on Test. If a successful connection is established, you'll see a pop-up port OK message. If the connection fails, you'll receive a message indicating it was unable to connect to the port. Check your IP address again and make sure that it matches what it says on the control panel on your cutter. Once you have the port OK message, click on the Apply and click on Done. You are now ready to cut from SignMaster to your cutter.